Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to take a trip to Big Lots. If you're not familiar with Big Lots, it is a it's a deep discount store that you can find in multiple states in the USA. Um, it's been around for quite a while. They used to carry um, mainly discontinued items, things that might be overstock, overruns. They have in the last few years kind of spiffied their stores up, um, but I find they're not as good of a bargain as they used to be. But I did hear they had some neat decorations for Halloween. So we're going to take a look at those and then we're also going to take a look at some fall stuff and they even have some Christmas stuff out. Now the music in the store was very loud so from here on out it's going to be a voiceover for copyright issues. I cannot include my, you know, my original commentary because the music was so loud in there and YouTube doesn't like that. So let's go take a look at Big Lots. We will start with the Halloween stuff. Oh, look at this beautiful tablecloth. It's fabric and it looks like it has this mesh over top and an orange fabric piece. And it has a fringed edge. Look at this funny sign. It was surprisingly heavy. I think it was metal. A little skeleton man and it says, oh snap. <laughs> He's having a little problem. I like that sign. Or you could get one that looks like a fence and it has little black metal jack-o'-lanterns and it says Happy Halloween. This one I like. It says come in for a spell and it has stakes. We could put it down in the ground and it's shaped like a coffin. It's very cute. This is a metal pumpkin table decoration. And these are placemats. They're black and white striped, kind of like Beetlejuice. And they say, hey there, pumpkin. <laughs> and a styrofoam pumpkin. And we have pillows that say, witch please, or help me. It has handprints on it. And you see the back of it is black and white striped and then the front has <laughs> witch please embroidered on it. It's funny. You can get little bobbleheads from Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th. These are solar powered bobbleheads. So they'll murder you, but it's good for the environment. And then we have Pennywise, just, just that one. And little salt and pepper shakers with a crow and a skull. Little ceramic, little salt and pepper shakers. And a candy bowl that says, eat, drink, and be scary. Little plastic bowl. I do like the tablecloths. And this decoration says, my house is scarier than yours. Little pumpkin. If you've got it, haunt it. And then back here we have some little candle holders that are perfect for Halloween. An Oogie Boogie is a light. It's a pretty little skull. It's all lit up. And home spooky home. And don't open dead inside. Little pillow. These skulls light up. They have LED lights in them. This one doesn't work. A lot of a, a lot of the little try-me buttons didn't work. They're worn out, as we discover as we go along. Here's a weird little snake thing. I don't know what that is. This one worked, and look, you can see the lights on it. Are, they change colors, and it has like fiber optics in there. These are placemats. Look like little spider webs, or just a plain orange one and a raven on a skull. And I tried this one and it didn't, it didn't do anything. A lot of these were worn out. This one only worked a little bit. When I pressed it, the, its mouth would move, its beak just moved just a little. Or you could just get a plain old skull with a spider in the eye. It's <laughs> cute. I like this light. It has a little plastic light and it looks like a skeleton hand is holding it with skulls at the base or a purple skull that lights up. This was a little doorbell and it has an eyeball <laughs> and it, it played a little song, something about go away, but I don't remember, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> and here's a little light. These are little table decorations. They even have a toy chainsaw that has sound effects. 
and the Halloween kitchen towels. I like that one. Welcome foolish mortals. Those were really cool. Or stay spooky. And home sweet haunted home. Now I really wanted that fabric tablecloth. Oh, I wanted it so bad. Um, but when I went back to look at them, somebody had gotten both of them. And then we have some other ones. But this one I loved. I wanted that one, but I didn't get it. Here's a little light with a faucet, and it's got a hand as a base and a bulb, and there's a little button. I'll find it. There it is. It's almost worn out, though. If you get close, you can see that it lights up a little bitty bit, but it's about worn out. Yeah. Here's that light again with the skulls. Welcome, we've been dying to meet you. I like this one. I'm here for the booze. <laughs> Those are cute. This is a little skeleton dog, and it, it was battery powered, but I didn't try to, I didn't operate it. I didn't want to see what it did. And a cup that says, I'm 100% that witch. <laughs> this one had little cat skeletons in different poses on it. I thought that was really cute. Here's a cup for your arsenic. And look at this wine tumbler. It's got a skull and crossbones on it. That's actually cool. I should take that to my exercise class. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, and here we have more table decorations. Some of these are really detailed, like these. And this, I wasn't sure what it did. Like, I saw there was something in there. And it genuinely startled me. I pushed the button and, uh... <laughs> That hand popped up and it startled me and then it slowly creeps back down. See, I thought the eyes were going to light up or something. No. Look at me. I'm trying to do it again like I want to startle myself again. I like the little skeletons coming out of the, co the coffins right there too. Ah! And then it popped up again. and it <laughs> It's like being startled by the Pop-Tart coming out of the toaster. I hate that. Here's a baby skull and it has a light inside. And they even have a skull spider. Have you ever seen a skull spider? Lord, they have a lot of them. Look at all the skull spiders. We have little crawling zombie people. These two are having a really good time. Uh, yeah, we're, let's leave them alone. <laughs> and here we have a witch's brew. And when, I don't know what that one did. The little thing didn't work. But I really like the haunted house right next to it. That is super cool. And little Pennywise. This is another baby school. LED animated decor. I love this wreath. If I hadn't already made a Halloween wreath, I would have bought this wreath right here. It's beautiful. And garland for your Halloween with little purple bats. I thought about doing a Halloween tree. There's a little cat back there. And little mannequin creepy things, little spooky doll here. There's a scary pumpkin back there. A scary old lady back there. Creepy stuff. And then we have a couple of ghosts. I don't know what they do. They do something. And you could get a Chucky shirt that says, Wanna Play? It was surprisingly soft. Very velvety. And now over here we have outdoor decorations, like a set of two LED skeleton hand stakes that light up. I like those. Um, let's see. We also have these little LED skull pathway markers and a Halloween lit fence. I want to put some of these climbing dead people on my house. I don't know how hard it is to hang them up, though. You can also get an inflatable archway for the front of your house. That'd be fun on, tr on Halloween night for trick-or-treaters. And then over here, we just have random clothes. You never know what kind of clothes are going to have at uh, Big Lots. It could be anything. I do kind of like this beige tie-dyed top, though. Um, what else have we got? Oh, over here, we had this tall Halloween decoration with a lamp and a raven on top. 
and little signs going down the pole, like beware under this gauze, old cemetery road, and this one fell off, it says witchy way, that's a cute little lamp post for $60, very creepy. And over here we have some little stakes with little Halloween critters and cats and whatnot. Those are $8 each for those stakes. That is most of the Halloween stuff, like just right here. I was expecting more, but that's okay. They actually had several things I liked. You can get some Halloween garland in black, silver, and uh, orange. That's six feet of garland. Or orange, purple, and green with little black beads. That is a liquid dispenser that lights up for $6. And a carving kit for $6. Or you can get these cute little pumpkin eyes. You stick them in your carved out pumpkin and they light up. But they're $9. It seems a bit much to me. They're very funny though. And then these are just plain old hats. It's not Halloween. And Reebok, we'll come back to that. They had a little section of Reebok stuff. This is a fireplace. It's not Halloween. Like, they have this kind of stuff all the time. And they're starting to put out their Christmas stuff. Look, all oh, this tree. It's like a willow tree. And look how beautiful. Imagine how pretty that would be outside at night with the lights. And they have these little clear leaves. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I do. Um, this was $80. Yeah. $80 for the big willow tree. I would love to put that in the front of my house. Or you can get these giant lanterns with decorative stuff on them and, and little LED candles inside that light up. Um, that one didn't work. These are also $80 each, which is a bit much, but they're quite big. And then when they have these little snowmen in clothes on a present, or you could get a big sign that says Joey, J-O-Y for $70 with a snowman on top of the O. <laughs> and a stack of gifts with lights inside. And these look like those ceramic Christmas trees that everybody's grandma would put on the table at Christmas. Winter Wonder, and you see, press it, it lights up a little bit. It doesn't show up too well, though. And here we have a multicolor cone tree with these pretty plastic bulbs for $70. That's cute. You can get little bags of pine cones and glitter-covered leaves for $5, and they smell like cinnamon. They smell really good. Some of them have balls. And over here we have some of their artificial Christmas trees. This one is $300. It has 1,600 LED lights on it, though. So you see it's quite brilliant. Beautiful. I like this one better with the different types of branches and the red berries on it. I think there was a short because the lights kept going out. This one is $220. I like that one. It's pretty. See, the lights just, they don't stay on. This one is big. This one is nine feet tall, and it's $275. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think that one's LED, though. It's a big one. And then over here, we have one of the cashmere trees, um, a Park City cashmere tree for $190. That's pretty. And then we have a flocked tree. Um, this is one of the Vancouver flocked trees for $240. Um, I don't like those as much. They're pretty, but that fake snow comes off of the branches. And look, it gets all over the floor. Look at that. They haven't even decorated it, and it's already everywhere. Thumbs down. No, thank you. You could get just a plain white tree. I have one of those, but it's not that big. And it's not pre-lit. Here's one that has a little bit of that fake snow on it. But you can see they're going to be putting out more. They have all these spaces for more trees. Now, I do love this. This is um, it's like a dress form. It's a Prancer LED dress form. 
for $70. It's pre-lit. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I'd put it up just like that. I think it's beautiful just as it is. So pretty. And an angel. Look, you can see the golden wings and the flowing hair. Wow. That's $70 for a four-foot vixen LED angel. And then we have a little nativity type scene that's made to look like stained glass, but it's actually surprisingly flimsy plastic. And here's another little cone tree. It's smaller, you can see it comes down to the little round base at the bottom. The smaller one is only $45. And we have a stack of snowmen. Look at our acrobatic little snowmen. Three of them stacked up for $80. So cute. Little happy snowmen. Here's our stack of presents. That is $140 for the beautiful pre-lit presents. Oh, that's going to look so pretty outside at nighttime. And I always wanted one of these lamp posts over here like this. An LED snowfall lamp post. It's $50. And it lights up. I think it is so cute. I've always wanted one of those. And this is a little decoration with fake trees that have balls. They don't light up and it's on a fake piece of wood. That's not real. There's no price tag on it, but it has balls. Look, I touched its balls. I don't know how much that was. There was no price on it. And you can always find weird food in uh, big lots like Jordan almonds. They're, Jordan almonds are good. They're, that's not weird. Those are good. And pumpkin spice bis, biscotti from them. And pop tarts that are pumpkin pie flavor, which just sounds awful. And then I found this dark chocolate pumpkin biscotti. And I started to put it down here. But then I spotted next to the apple cider some more. And I decided to put it there so you can see the chocolate on it. Dark chocolate pumpkin for $3 from Nani's. And we can get uh, rolled wafers with maple filling. Did you know Margaritaville makes coffee? K-Cups? They do. Calypso Coconut, Sunrise in Paradise, Latitude Attitude, and at 5 o'clock somewhere. I never knew that. Oh, and we have veggie chips, ghosts plus bats. If you don't like candy at Halloween. And I thought these were fortune cookies at first because I'm blind. They're corn chips, but they're Halloween themed corn chips. And then we have apple pie snaps like the ones we got at Lidl. Just like that. And you can get balls for Halloween. You can get mini cheese ball treats. You can give them your balls for Halloween. Um, oh, and we have maple syrup from LaPierre Maple Farm. Pure maple syrup. A little bit of everything over here. And Fall Harvest Premium Variety Pack. Pumpkin Spice Coffee. Caramel Brownie Coffee. Cinnamon Vanilla Nut Coffee. And Maple Walnut Coffee. A nice variety of fall coffees for you. This is a bag of little Skinny Pop popcorn bags. Rice Krispie Treats from the Addams Family movie. And oh, I love these. Look, at, look, it's Halloween vanilla meringues. And they have black and orange sugar on them. Oh, meringues. Halloween vanilla. It's haunted villain vanilla. If you don't want that, we also have salted caramel meringues. Oh, I would rather have these. I bet these are really good. And what do we have? We have pumpkin pie spice international delight creamers. Bunch of that. And Lord, all the mix. I could eat that whole tub. You see those mellow cream pumpkins in there? Man. Now, these are from Zachary, and they're made with real honey. I like Brock's better, but those are okay. Um, up here, we have the Fall Blend from Starbucks. These are little K-Cups. 
and Special K pumpkin spice flavor. But these boxes got into a bar fight uh, last night, and they're a little rough this morning. They're only two fifty, but they're banged up. This is Girardelli uh, premium sauce, chocolate made with real chocolate. It's just chocolatey chocolateness. Hmm. We even have steel cut oats from Bob's Red Mill with the golden spurtle. <laughs> Sounds dirty, but I know it's probably not. Homestyle granola with ancient grains, maple pecan flavor. Yum. And over here, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but I don't care. Potato noshi. I meant to look it up, but I forgot. This one has pumpkin in it. Noshi. I'm going to call it Frank because I don't know how you say that. And it doesn't matter because I'm about to put it away. Put it down and walk off. Um, here's some more Starbucks K-Cups French Roast. Put that there. They even have brownie brittle that is caramel apple flavor. I like the regular chocolate, but I bet that's good too. They even have hair accessories and big lots. Like these lovely uh, headbands. Like nice fall colors. These are $4. And they have animal print ones too. This is a metal one. And it has two rows of plastic pearls. Those are only $3. Oh, those actually go down there. Here's another one. It's a pretty pattern on that fabric. These are all $4 and they're all mixed up. You'll put that one there and we'll just stick that one there. Look at these pretty hair clips. Oh, I love all the colors of these items, like these velvet scrunchies. Mm. Oh, and I love these hair pins too. They're just like fancy bobby pins, but look at the pretty butterflies and rhinestones on them. They're all a gold color and they're beautiful. Oh, look at these are pretty too. I think these are a little smaller. And little um, twisty hair ties. Hair spirals, I believe they're called. Like a phone cord. Now they do have some jewelry, like this bracelet. But personally, I think their prices are a bit high on some of this stuff. Like, I wouldn't pay $8 for that. It's pretty, but meh. I like the silver chain, though. That is pretty. I have one similar to that that I got in a Goodwill bag. And that necklace goes there. This is a pretty bracelet with the blue stones on it and silver. And we have some earrings. I really like this bracelet. It's from Purple Polka Dot. Purple Polka Dot. Pretty little plastic flowers. And I love this little uh, choker right here with the different color beads on it. Oh, it's so pretty. Lots of earrings. Um, down here we have a set of chokers for $10. You get five of them. Little hoop earrings or a necklace with the tower, the Eiffel Tower on it in gold and rhinestones. You can even get earring backs, which is super helpful. Sets of earrings. This necklace set actually goes over here, so we're going to move that to right there. And this is a set of bracelets for $8. You get four of them for $8. Earring sets. And over here we have a command hook kiosk. I use a lot of these around Christmas time to hang stuff. Oh my gosh, I've put so many decorations up. And then you can just take it down and it doesn't damage anything. I do. I use these every Christmas. Like I use a lot of the little ones like that. I love, I love command hooks. The, this is the Reebok stuff I was telling you about. I really like these tops, like this loose cowl neck top. They have it in a bunch of different colors. It has pockets. I like the peach colored one. And they're really nice, but I think they're overpriced. They're $28, which I thought was kind of ridiculous. And then they, they do have these nice pants, but they're, they're $26. Um, in different colors. And then they have just like a plain hoodie. Um, the hoodie is $28. Yeah, just like the other top. I like these uh, 
spandex pants, the lycra pants with the pockets. Those are $18. I wear pants like this all winter long, and I love it when they have pockets. It's so handy. If I were to get them, I'd probably get these burgundy ones back here. I really don't need any pants, but I like those. And they have this loose, like a cowl neck top in blue and gray. I love both of them, but I wouldn't pay that for them. They also have a gray Reebok uh, hoodie, which is nice. I have one similar to that somewhere. I think I bought it at Walmart last year. And then over here, we have some pretty plaid pumpkins for your fall decorating. These are from Proy Hill. Very cute. This, this is $16 for the three pumpkins stacked together. Or you can get this little smaller one too. Or a wall decoration for $12. Pretty. These are glass pumpkins. Look at the detail on the curly cue on the top. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. I love the glass pumpkin. It's so pretty. And you have other matching items like the little gold leaves down here for table decor. So pretty. And little uh, little towels, seeds, stems, and blooms from your sunflowers. And fall decorations. That right there was $20. I was gonna, I looked at it, but I didn't want to pay that much for it. <laughs> And a table runner. It's pretty, but this one was only three feet long. I wanted one longer than that. Beautiful um, tablecloths. I did buy a tablecloth in the fall section over here and a table runner to go with it. Here's a pretty plaid one, but it's round. I needed a, a rectangular one. And here we have another table runner. This one's cute, but this one is the one I bought and I got the matching tablecloth to go with it. See, it's embroidered. Isn't it beautiful? It has roses embroidered into it and a blue pumpkin and a green pumpkin. I thought it was so pretty. I had to have it. And a beautiful welcome mat. I like that. And some more decor. Gather and give thanks. That actually goes down here, but it was very full, so I just left it up there. <laughs> and more kitchen towels. Fall breeze and autumn leaves. Pumpkin patch farms. They have a floor mat to match that. This fabric tablecloth is beautiful with the uh, embroidered detail on it. I like that. <laughs> Cut, cook, eat, wash, clean, dry, repeat. <laughs> every day. I wanted these towels right here so ba so bad. It's a good day to be happy. I may actually go back and get them. I did not get them though, but it comes with this towel too with this happy little design on the back. You get these two towels. I really wanted those. That goes with the Halloween stuff. I may go back and get them. I liked them. And they also have pretty little fall candles of all different types down here. Look at that. And there's the little doormat down there. And a pillow that matches the tablecloth and runner I got. Gather and give thanks. It's a faux wood. It's not real. It's plastic or resin. An electric wax warmer that looks like a pumpkin too. And you can even get some nice little napkins like for your Thanksgiving dinner. They say give thanks. You can get 24 of these for $3. Or you could get these cute little uh, green ones down here too. Oh, and they have some big napkins. Look at all these pretty designs. These are only three dollars. You get 20 of those larger ones for three. Or you could get the Happy Harvest napkins. Not our harvest. She would not approve of any of this because we did not make it. And we have our, look at the big Halloween plates. That's a huge plate goodness. Oh, and this one says Hocus Pocus. I wanted to let you know, I did finally watch Hocus Pocus last night. It was a cute little movie. I did enjoy it. I'd never seen it before. And here we have more Halloween plates. These are big old plates. Perfect for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. I love it. Nice. Over here we have 
suitcases. I want one of these hard-sided suitcases that rolls every which way. If I ever get to travel again, if we ever get to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. And over here we have some fall garland. Look at the beautiful leaves. I love it. And wreath forms. And ribbon. Lots of pretty ribbon, too. This is a very simple little decorative item. It just has this tag on it that says, Give Thanks. It looks like it's not finished. It's a little plain for me. I love this golden colored ribbon. That is so pretty. And this one has trucks and pumpkins on it. That's very cute, too. <laughs> Yeah, and then you come over here and we have these signs. I like this one. Welcome to our patch. That one's cute. You can get a happy harvest sign to put outside. And here's some more Halloween garland stuck over here. And a metal thankful sign. I like this one down here. The fall decoration. I like that. You can get owls. Look at this owl. He's got a light in his butt. And he's cute. There are two owls. And then they have these little little kitchen towels that have initials on them for Christmas. They're made to look like Santa Claus's belt buckle, I guess. That's what it makes me think of anyway. Um, and then you come over here and they're filling in space and they're just putting whatever, like they have some lunch boxes they put there and totes and things. They have put out some Christmas gift bags. These are all cute. These are big bags. Here's the one with the truck tree on it. You see the truck tree on a lot of decorations for fall and Christmas. I wish I had seen these last year when I was doing my pink and gold Christmas tree. $20 for 30 ornaments, and they're so beautiful. You can also get red, black, and white, which I think is a cool combination. Or these blue and silver ones. These are pretty. I love looking at ornaments. Even if I'm not buying them, I like to just look at them. There's all the pretty colors. And I love this tree topper. It's silver and it has like an ornament in the middle of it. That was cool. That's pretty. And we have some ribbon too. We have silver ribbon. And back there is a roll of some blue and silver snowflake ribbon. And down here we have some little silver and white ornaments. These are shatterproof, very shiny. Or you could get some little reindeer ornaments. I like these too. These are pretty. Oh, they're all pretty. I like these down here. Look, they're all kind of different. And for $18, you get 24 of these little ornaments, and they're so pretty. Or you could get these silver and light blue ones. I just love looking at the ornaments. And we have some different types of garland, pretty, and some little wall hangings that say Mary and Peace. And it has some holly and little beads on the top. Christmas garland and more ribbon. That's a big old ribbon right there. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, this tree topper would have been perfect when I was doing my rustic Christmas tree last year. That would have been really pretty. Really, any of this would, because it was all decor decorations kind of like this. And I like the red and green garland, too. Any of these ornaments would have worked for my rustic Christmas tree. Now, this over here, this hat, that is actually a tree topper. I've never seen a hat tree topper before. But if you look at the underside, see that's where you put it. You just sort of jam it down on the top of the tree. That's cute. I've never seen I've never seen that. This set of ornaments is really pretty. I have a little a little puppy dog here and a puppy dog here. <laughs> I love these ornaments. And over here we have a bunch of battery operated uh, little plush Christmas individuals. Well, that deer is ready for you this year. It is not playing with you. <laughs> it's packing this year. And we have little battery-operated cats, but I, I, did not, uh, I did not activate any of the cats. But we do have a Christmas flamingo. Now, when you activate the flamingo, it starts playing the Macarena, and he starts 
or his neck gyrates. It really just looks like he's got something stuck in his throat or an alien's about to come out. Yeah. And I don't know what the unicorns did. I pressed this one. Nothing happened. I pressed this one. Nothing happened. I think they're depressed. And then we have Santa in a truck with a tree in the back that's already decorated and an animated decor. Snoopy looking drunk. And the Grinch. I did not activate him. This light and sound decor nativity scene lights up and then it plays this music kind of like the beginning of Mr. Bean. It's like just this generic chorus. And that's it. I like this one, the light and sound decor. You turn it on and it blasts little styrofoam balls all over the town. I don't know if that scares them or not, but it would scare me. And over here we have red and silver ornaments. These are really pretty. Or red and gold, which I'm doing one of my trees in red and gold this year, but I already have all my ornaments, so I don't I don't need anything. I don't think. You can get little charm bracelets with a Christmas theme to them. And they're all a little bit different. They all have different uh, different themes to them. And different ornament or different charms on each one. And I really liked the um, this chair. It was so soft and it looked really comfortable. I didn't sit in it, but it looked comfortable. And we didn't look at the Halloween candy. I already bought mine, but I like to look at it. You can get all these different mixes of candies, pretty much any kind you want. You could probably find a mix of it. This was an enormous bag of Tootsie Pops. It was heavy. It was 80 of them in there. 80 full-size Tootsie Pops. Yum. I like this mix here with Milky Way, Snickers, Caramel M&Ms, and Twix for $9.99. You get 55 pieces. That's a good mix right there. You can even make an M&M's house, and it gives you everything you need to make the little house. That's adorable. That's $10.99 for the, the M&M's house. It's like the gingerbread house at Christmas. And then we have Three Musketeers. That's just a bag of Three Musketeers. Nothing wrong with that. I love those. And we have Tootsie Caramel Apple Pops. That bag of Snickers goes up, up, up there made with real caramel. This is a family pack of caramel apple pops. Ooh. And we have just Kit Kats, which my kids love. And they also have a limited edition Tootsie Pop. These are caramel flavor. I've never tried a caramel Tootsie Pop before. I bet those are good. Never heard of that. So, they don't have a ton of Halloween candy, I mean, compared to some stores, but you can get this enormous bag of Haribo trick-or-treat mix. That's 80 little bags of gummies for your trick-or-treaters or for you or whoever. And then we have a bag of Krabby Patties. You can get 40 pieces of Krabby Patties, just like little gummy burgers. They're not bad. They taste pretty good. If you like gummies. Now over here we have Christmas and winter themed stuff. I love these towels. They're little kitchen towels with embroidered trees on them or snowflakes. This one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. They're so pretty. You get two towels per set. Oh, this one has little mittens embroidered on it. Those are cute. And these sets are seven dollars each, and they're really cute. There's no place like home. <laughs> Look at this; it's a fur-covered present. It's plush, and I found Charity's pillow. It says "Tis the season to sparkle." I love that pillow. It's very shiny. "Tis the season to sparkle." It's beautiful. But I messed it up, so I'm going to lean it back there because it won't stay up. Here's a hanging decoration that you can put on your door. And baby, it's cold outside. They have so many pillows. My goodness, here's another one. And they're all embroidered. Merry and bright. A little sign. 
These are glass trees and they light up. Those will look so pretty in a darkened room on the table. These are just gold. And oh, the tablecloths. I love these fabric tablecloths. They're beautiful. And I'm always tempted to get a new one, but I, I don't need them. This is a table runner. This is very pretty. I like this one with the finished edge on it with the snowflakes. And more kitchen towels with trees and little wintry sayings on them. Little copper colored trees. And some lanterns. Some smaller ones in silver. I like those. Or you could get these larger ones that are painted in white enamel. So many little signs and little items that you could just put everywhere. Um, up here they have these little LED lights with the remote. I like those. Those are great. They usually have a timer too. And little reindeer. I like the little fox. Look, he's sparkly on his back. Like he's been snowed on. He's got a scarf. And I love these ice skates. I want to get some of these ice skates. I thought about getting them and putting them on my mantle. And they look cute. No way all. Snow is falling. Winter is calling. I love it. Tis the season to sparkle. I love these little signs. They're so cute. I had to go back and look at the ice skates again. <laughs> I seriously like those. There's snow place like home and believe. Lots of cool stuff. I love all these beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all the wonderful items they had at Big Lots today. I did purchase a tablecloth and a table runner for fall. So I'm really glad we went. I saw some great stuff today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again really soon.